We are going to talk about lesson two. 你忙吗 Are you busy? In this lesson, you will learn characters: 忙 busy, 忙 the plural function for subjects: 爸 father, 哥 brother, 弟 younger brother, 都 All, 要 want to, or want, 朋友 friend, 喝 drink, and the grammar point is 都 all, 也 also, or to. Mom, it's a kind of function word for creation sentences. Then we are going to learn some social conversation greetings about 你好吗 How are you? And asking what someone wants. 你要的的的吗 Do you want 的的的 Okay. So now we're going to talk about characters. At this part, we will learn 忙们爸哥弟都要朋友喝 Okay. So the first one we're going to talk about 忙 busy 么 on second tone 忙 Mong is combined by xin, wang. Xin it means heart. Wang it means to die or dead. If we put xin and wang together, then it becomes busy. So how to remember busy? I make a story for you. If someone will really care, and the person. Is dead. Then we will be very, we will be very busy in preparing the funeral for that person we really care, because we have to call someone to let them know. Oh, when is the fun funeral, and what will we do in the funeral, and what will, what will we wear in the funeral, something. So it means very be. It is busy. So if you see Xin with Wang, then it is Mang busy in Chinese. But how to write Mang in Chinese? Let's see the short orders. It's a website that will show you how to write the characters in the right short orders. Xin Bu, Xian Hua, Gong Liu Hua, Mang, Me Ang, Mang. Okay, so you can see it's an example, and then if you want to practice by yourself, you can push, you can press this one. It's for you to practice. You have a brush, and you try to follow the right stroke orders. But if we do something wrong, what will happen? Let's see. Oh oh, 再试一次 And let me try again. So we just. Do this. 写的很好。Miss Good. 加奖一次。Good job, excellent. Okay, but if you forgot how to write this one, it's okay. We can replay. Okay, it's a kind of video for you to learn how to write Chinese characters by the right stroke orders. Okay, next one we're going to talk about. The sentences. 你忙吗？我很忙吗？你爸爸忙吗？他不忙。Okay. Next one, we're going to talk about 们们们 is a neural tone. 们 it means the function word for Plural subject, but how do we write men? You see, it's combined by two parts. The first one is 人 it means 人人 it means people, and this one, the left one, is 门门 it means a door. Okay, so if we see a lot of people stand in front of the door. 
it looks like this one. So we put a lot of people next to the door, and it means month. It means we, you, they. Okay, so now let's see the examples. 我 it means I. If we put 我 month after 我, it becomes 我 month. Then it is we. 你 you. This you is for man or for female, but this ni is always and forever for female only because we can see his here as as a nu nu girl or female here. So ni the different writing but the same pronunciation ni and ni. We put mun after ni it become ni mun means you, and the ta he the female ta it is she. Tamen. So those are plural subjects. 我们，你们，他们。Let's try. What's this one? It's 忙 ，busy， 忙。Next one. What's the words we'll combine with 人？ And man, then it becomes man, the function word for plural subjects. Next one, we're going to talk about ba, ba, and means date. But usually we will say ba ba. We will put two ba together to become father. Okay, so ba is combined by this one fu. Actually, fu has the same meaning as ba. Okay, so fu is mean ba too, and then this one ba ba, almost the same sound with ba because the sound ba is comes from this one ba ba. This one is sound sin symbol. Fu combine ba and it become ba. Okay, if you want to learn how to write this one, you can click. There's a link. To show you how to write ba in a right struck orders. Okay, let's say it together. Ba ba, ba ba. Okay, then let's look about ge. Ge it means older brother. Okay, so let's see. Uh, would you try to uh separate them into two parts? This one's ke. We combine two ke together, then. It looks very similar to g g g, but pay attention to here. K at the less strong orders, or uh, at less strong order, we got hook a hook, but at the bot at the open part, we do not have a hook here. But at the bottom part, we have a hook. We keep the hook there. Okay, so let's repeat after me. G g g g. Then next one is younger brother. But how to remember younger brother? I don't. I cannot. I cannot tell a story of that because I don't know. How, I because I cannot separate them. But I will give you a tip here. We got a two here. One and a two. This one we can try to imagine that the younger brother is very young, so he is just a baby. Brother, and then he just only has two hair, okay. And that younger brother is very naughty, so he likes to kick. This is one leg. He likes to kick someone, okay. So try to remember this one. Let's let's look this one because it's a little bit hard to write. So let's say it together. B, 公布四化共七化。D, D, E, D. Okay, so now let's go back to the PowerPoint. So younger brother, we said D, 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 D. Okay, so now let's see. 他是谁 Who is he? 哥哥。那他呢？ Who is he? Baba. How about him? D. 
弟弟，很好。Okay, next one we're going to talk about do. Do is a function word. It means all, all. So let's practice this one. 我 means I. 是 it means M R is. 瑞典人 it means Swedish, Swedish. 瑞典 Sweden. 人 people. The Swedish people, the Sweden people, it means Swedish. 瑞典人 So the sentence struck order is 我是瑞典人，你是瑞典人，我们都是瑞典人。If we want to put do, we have to put do between the subject and the verb. Okay. Next one, we're going to talk about 要要 It means want or to want to. Okay. So now let's see. 要 has a substruct. A sentence structure as do. If you want to put ya, uh, we will have put ya. It's a verb, so we have to put it after subject. 我要咖啡 I want coffee. 你要可乐 You want cola. 爸爸要啤酒 Father wants beer. Now let's see. Try it. 我 I want coffee. So how to say this? 很好，我要咖啡。How about this one? We are all Svenska. We are all Swedish. 都 it means all. 我们都是瑞典人。Okay, next one we're going to talk about 朋友 In Chinese culture, there's a very famous point. Named Li Bai or Li Bo,、uh, he has a point is very, which is very famous. It means, um, if we could find a friend, and those we could have a drink with those friends under the moonlight, then that's the best. Thing in the world, that's very wonderful. In the world, so 朋友朋友 friends friends or friend. Actually, it is friend. Okay, so 朋 it combines by two moons. The first moon and then the second moon. If we combine two moons together, it become 朋 Why? Because here is a One moon here is one moon, and here we got a reflection of the moon. So we got two moons, one moon and two moons. Okay, 朋 The last one is 喝喝 is combined by four parts: 口日人 and a little bit like go. Okay, go it means to check. 口 it means mouth. 日 son 人 here. Is run, people or human beings, and go actually go it means check to check, but I want to let you uh let you know how to write this one. So I put I put a mark here. It it looks like a mark here, and then is a a cup here. Okay, so but how to remember this one? Okay. If the sun is very big and then it is very hot, for human beings we will be very thirsty. So we need to drink something from our mouth. We use a cup to drink something. Okay, so it means third. It means drink to drink, to drink. 喝喝 Okay, okay. So now let's try it. What's this one? We said 朋友 so the answer is B. Then, then the next one, uh, puzzles. Okay, puzzles is a kind of a practice or fun game for you to recognize how to write, no, how to recognize the Chinese characters. So, 
we can try to use the puzzle to uh we can just see we want to learn her right so let's see how to how to combine her together maybe here no here yes and how about this one i don't know ah here yeah and maybe here so we already got a ah, code we can see that this is code and how about the oh this one is yes code and this one is called mouth Zhi, the sun Ren, human being or people and this one is go okay yes got it so it means it takes me it, it takes me 39 seconds to finish this one you can try to do this by yourself and then here is, is all the words that we will learn today so you can practice by yourself okay next one we're going to talk about the grammar point okay this part we will learn do ye ma so now let's see do it means oh we just practice this one wo shi xue sheng i am a student ni shi xue sheng you are a student wo men do shi xue sheng all of us are students remember if we want to put do, we have to put it between the subject and the verb. Okay, so now let's practice this one. We got lao shi, teacher, ren, human being, rui dian ren, Swedish, Swedish pe people from Sweden, he cafe to drink coffee. Okay, so now let's say this one. All of us are teachers. Woman. Do shi lao shi. The second one, all of us are human beings. Wo men do shi ren. The third one, all of us are Swedish. Wo men do shi rui dian ren. The that last one, all of us drink coffee. Wo men do he cafe. Okay. 再来,下一个我们要看的是 ye. The next one we're going to look at ye also or two. Okay, I will give you some examples here. 我是瑞典人. I am a Swedish. If I want to say, Aha, uh -huh, you are a Swedish too, or you are also a Swedish, then we will use 也. The same as though we will put 也 between the subject and the verb. Okay, so we will become 你也是瑞典人. Okay, so now let's see the next example. 我是爸爸. I am a father or I am father. 你也是爸爸. You are a father too. Okay, the last one. 我喝咖啡. I drink coffee. You also drink coffee. 你也喝咖啡. Next one, let's do some examples. Okay, we are students too. You are also teachers. They are Swedish, Swedishes too. I also drink coffee. So we have to use ye a lot. Here is the keywords. 老师, teacher. 学生, student. 瑞典人, Swedish. 喝咖啡, to drink coffee. You can stop here and try to make the sentences by yourself. And then you can play it again so that we can check the answer. Here. 我们也是学生。你们也是老师。他们也是瑞典人。我也喝咖啡. Okay, now let's, the last part. Ma it is the sub, uh, suffix for creation sentences. Let's see. 我是瑞典人. If I just stop here, 我是瑞典人, it means I am a Swedish. But if I put ma at the end of the sentence, then it becomes 我是瑞典人吗? It becomes am I a Swedish? It's a Christian sentence, so we put a Christian mark here. 你也是瑞典人吗? Are you also a Swedish? 我是爸爸吗? 
Am I a father? 你也是爸爸吗? Are you a father too? 我喝咖啡吗? Do I drink coffee? 你也喝咖啡吗? Do you also drink coffee? Now let's try it. We have to practice how to use ma. Are you busy? A Christian sentence. Do you drink coffee? Are you a Swedish? Are they teachers? So the key word says here. 老师, teacher. 忙, busy. 瑞典人, Swedish. 喝咖啡, to drink coffee. You can stop here again and try to make the sentences by yourself. And then after you finish your sentences, you can keep playing, then let's check the answers. 你忙吗? 你忙吗? Are you busy? 你喝咖啡吗? Do you drink coffee? 你是瑞典人吗? 你是瑞典人吗? Are you Swedish? 你们 老师? 你们是老师吗? 你们是老师吗? Are you teachers? Okay, remember, if we have ma with the sentences, then it means it's a Christian sentence. We have to put a Christian mark after the sentence. Okay, we almost finished all the Chinese characters and the grammar points. So, uh, you can practice by yourself. Bye-bye.